All right, so today we're going to show you a quick video um, to help your pool, above ground pool, have better circulation. Um, if you're like me and you have kids that want to get in the pool but just don't ever seem to get in as often as you would like because believe it or not, the more people in the pool, maybe not the more people, the more often the pool is used, um, believe it or not, that circulates the water. And so let me get right down to it. I'm going to build a contraption to sit in the middle of the pool and be like a like a center drain. So basically filtering from the bottom. Um, I won't put it in all the time, but I will have it in a good amount of time. And I have um, the little shark. I have the little shark um, filter myself. I mean, not this filter, but I call it the, it's a creepy crawler little shark. Um, and it hooks up like this. This is how it hooks up and it's sectioned together. And these are supposed to pivot real easy, easy so um, when it, you know, goes around hook to it. It's a vacuum. It goes around, you know, it kind of like does like this. There's a cup that goes like this. Side to side and it sucks water from the bottom. Um, cleaning the dirt off the bottom. So my game plan is to hook it to that with this. So I'll be using the hose from that. So if you don't have a hose or a little shark um, depending on what kind of filter you do have, you could still use this nipple. So I'm using this. It has a barb fitting on the end, and it literally presses in there perfect. Um, and what this is is a one, one to one and a half inch ID by one and a half inch MIP, which is the thread. Um, so now you need that. You need this adapter because this is what gives you the thread, and that thread's in like so. Uh, so that part number is that Home Depot. All this is Home Depot. Um, Home Depot. Is there, there's, a, there's a part number for your Home Depot. Uh, you're gonna need a T. Home Depot. I mean, you could buy all this stuff from Lowe's also. So I was lazy, and I was actually on my Harley, so I couldn't buy a length of this. So I probably paid what a length costs for two pieces, but. All that I still have what I need, and it is <clears throat> 10 for, uh, 4010 PVC 1 inch 1120 schedule 40. Blah blah blah. Yep, yep. So these are the pre cut pieces. I bought two of them, and I'm actually just going to measure and cut them both in the center with my grinder over here. I'm going to cut them both in the center with my grinder. Um, three of them will kick caps like this um, on the end. And then one will, I will actually cut a little piece out and it'll go in between here and it will go into a cap, believe it or not. And I'm going to trim this cap. I'm going to trim this edge off the cap because um, this then slides in here. Believe it or not, we couldn't find, me and the Home Depot guy couldn't find anything to fit into there. And I got lucky and did that and he was like, holy crap, I can't believe that fits, but yada yada. So then I have a little piece to go from there to there. And that's going to be like that, and then it'll have a piece of pipe like this here. And then obviously this will be here. So these will all be together um, with like a piece like this big. And that'll go into the T, and that'll be my suction side. That'll, well, that'll be my hose side, I should say, because this is all going to be suction side. And then basically this is going to look like that, just to give you a quick overview. Obviously the T in the middle. And like I said, we're going to cap each end. And then what we're going to do is drill holes. I'll figure out the, the pattern in a minute. I'm not too sure. I'm going to put it all, cut it all and lay it all out first and then go to that. And this will promote bottom suction and center suction. So it will it should, it really should keep the pool a lot cleaner. Um, if you're going to put a new liner in this year, call somebody and have them put a center drain in. A lot of places say they won't um, unless you cement it in, but it's, it's well worth it. I've talked to a few people and that's the way to go. So, again, you could do this differently. You could buy four of these. I just decided to buy two. It's an experiment. If, if, if I notice it works, maybe I can, I can, always, um, I can always cut it right before the uh, cap. You know, I'm not even gluing this together. I'm not gluing it together, so I can test it out. So I don't have to cut nothing. If I want to go bigger, um, I could just buy four new of these or buy a length myself and cut it to the lengths I want. But this is just, you know, kind of an experiment. Um, but... Here we go. I'm going to cut some pieces. I'm not going to video all that, but I will cut the pieces and then I'll drill the pieces 
and then I will post a picture a video of that and we'll let you see how it works. Thanks. Like and subscribe to my page. So I just wanted to give you a quickie. So literally that's all I did was cut the end off. It's not the perfect cut in the world, but we're not worried. We're literally going to jam it in here, the cut side. And then we're going to jam this in there. And then we have what we need. I'm going to cut a piece off about this big so that we can have our adapter out of here. You'll see. We'll snipe here. This goes in this end. Here's a quick overview all put together before the holes. And now, like I said, the hose, this hose will stink in here, come from the side of the pool out of the, my basket. Um, some people have the uh, hole for that underneath the basket. Mine just happens to be different. Um, so now I'm going to drill holes. I'm thinking I can get one, two, three. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do six holes in here. Uh, pick a drill bit. Let's see. I'm start small, go big. I'm thinking we could get six of these here. So let me measure out. I'm going to measure this distance from here to here and do six holes. This one, that one, that one, and that one. You know what? I'm only going to do three on this one because I don't want it sucking too much here when it needs to get all the way over here still. So we're going to do three here, six here, six here, and six here. We're going to start with that. If, if, if we feel like it's not drawing enough, what I could do is I could do six here and I could do three here and three here. I don't want to do any on the bottom because I don't want it sucking the liner in. So we'll see what happens. All right. So now you see the full design. Uh, I started out doing marks and then I realized that if you just use your finger mark, just drill, 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 drill. You know, I like this one. I got, let's see, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. I got eight in them. And like I said, I put three over there. The reason I put three over there is I didn't want all the suction coming right in. I want to kind of force it to go into these other directions, obviously. Um, so now I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to try to clean out these holes a little. If you have a deburring tool for plastic, um, it'd be great. I'm going to use sandpaper with my hand and uh, hopefully I get it all out. And then what I'll do is I'll actually pressurize it with the hose um, as if I was filling up the uh what do you want to call it filling up the vacuum line which you probably still have to do that if you know what i'm saying is you actually take the other end of the hose before putting it in the cart in the um in the filter box and you actually jam it on the return um you get all the air bubbles out letting the um whatever you're using sink to the bottom then so this i'll do the same thing with this just because you know i'll do this and i'll have it outside the pool the very first time to get any of this plastic out because you don't really want this going in your filter i don't know what kind of filter you have but basically this kind of mimics what a inside of a sand filter looks like only it'll have a rod coming straight down and i'm not sure how it does it i'm pretty sure it brings the dirty water in here and pushes it out and obviously there's sand here and it pushes it out and then just the water escapes and the sand grabs all the dirt and when you backwash it does the opposite and it'll actually send it out a different valve so Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, I'm gonna put it in the pool tonight overnight and see what kind of rea uh, you know what kind of what it looks like in the morning. I've been having a little bit of a it almost looks like green dust, but some saying it's algae, some saying it's not. Um, I know it's not sand because I got no leaks, no holes. Um, but so this is gonna help me with circulation problems. And like I said before, if if I don't like this or I feel like this isn't big enough, none of this is glued in. I can either add a bigger pole. Uh, please PVC or I can actually just buy a union and add it and stick the cap on the outside, you know, and uh, we'll see what happens. So wish me luck. Like and subscribe. Just a quickie if you don't just a quickie if you don't have a deburring tool or anything you can do is use. I found that this works great. This little lip. So what I do is I actually take it in like this and just kind of dig around with your hand and you see these holes are really clean. So hope that helps. Make it to out of anything. The holes are clean. We're ready for installation. I tapped it on the end of actually each one of these just a little lightly on the cement, like so. Alright, so now we're done. Maybe you want to paint it like an octopus or something, but we're going to test this puppy out. I suggest this piece, cutting this piece a little longer. This is the real loose fit, but I think the suction is going to hold it in. I'm not really worried. Um, I should worry, actually. I might glue that one in, only because... Uh, you don't want it coming apart, you know what I mean? God forbid this grabs the bottom of the liner. It's going to suck a hole in it. So I'm going to glue that one on.
but nothing else is getting glued. They're nice, tight fit. I can't even get them out. I tried. So they're all cleaned out nice and, you know, all the holes are cleaned out. I can recommend one thing, maybe taping your drill bit after your first hole, your depth. Um, run a bead of tape around it real thick so when it goes through, it won't push to the bottom. Only because some of my holes went to the bottom and I had to deburr the bottom of the hole. I don't know if you can see it in any of them, but yeah, right there a little bit. So, just to give you a hint, hint, like and subscribe. Okay, now that it's sunny out and you can see, I just wanted to show you. I don't know if it did it or just my pool pump running, but it's finally looking nice and not better. I had a clean tint to it. But as you can see, it's in the middle of the pool pretty much. And I'm drawing water from the bottom, so that's going to draw any dirt on The dirt sits on the bottom. So, like and subscribe.